Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Curtis. We're back again today to do a new drawing. Today we're gonna to be drawing a scarab beetle inspired by ancient Egyptian art. I'm really excited about this one. I hope you are too. When we start our drawing today, we wanna to make sure that our paper is turned the long way in front of us. We don't wanna have it turned the tall way. We wanna make sure that it is turned the long way in front of us. You might also want to get a couple of circles to trace. We're going to be putting some circles at the top of our paper. Um, you can just freehand the circles, but sometimes it's easier to trace. And this one is just a Play-Doh lid, and I think this came from some type of little bottle. So it's up to you if you want to trace something or if you just want to freehand them. I'm going to go ahead and trace for mine. We're going to be starting at the very top of our paper and in the center, as close to the center as you can get. So I'm just gonna put my first lid down and then I'm gonna use my pencil or drawing tool and I'm going to trace around my circle shape. There we go, there's my first circle. Then I'm gonna take my second circle and I'm gonna place that in the center of my first circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace that one as well and remember, you can just freehand these circles if you want, um, or you can find something around the house to trace. There we go. <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to do on my drawing is I'm going to draw the head of my beetle. And the head of my beetle is going to actually be touching the bottom of my circles. And it's going to be a little half circle, just like that, right underneath there. Behind that, I'm going to make the thorax of my beetle. So I'm going to make his thorax. That's going to fall right underneath his head. And it's just going to be kind of a rectangular shape like this. I'm going to draw that rectangular shape just like that. And you can see it's not exactly the same on both sides. If you're using a pencil, you could fix that line. I'm going to go ahead and just fix it like that. And I'll just have an extra line on mine. Then I'm going to make his abdomen. It's going to come down almost to the bottom of my paper, but not all the way. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We're going to draw the line where his wings open up first. So I'm going to make a small half circle going this way and then a line down my paper for how long I want his body to be. I'm going to stop right about there. Now I'm going to draw the body connecting it and I'm going to make it come out and then curve back in and connect to the end of that line. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna make it come just a little bit out and then curve around and connect on the other side. So that's gonna be my beetle's body. Our next step is gonna to be to draw his legs and we're gonna have four legs on this beetle. Two of them are going to connect to the circle and two of them are gonna come for the bottom of the paper. So I'm going to start my first one kind of on his thorax here. And I'm going to make that line curve up and connect to the circle. And I want to try to make it symmetrical. That means it's the same on both sides. So when I do the second one, I'm going to try to kind of match the first one. And you know what? I'm going to turn my paper over to make it a little easier. Try to start in the same place and make that match. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna make his back legs now. I'm gonna start back here, and I'm gonna kind of curve those out and down. That looks pretty good, and I'm gonna to try to do the same thing on the other side. Again, we wanna to try to be symmetrical, and just like that, pretty good. All right, we're gonna make these into legs, so we need to add some depth or thickness to them. And I wanna make mine kind of unique you can make yours more simple or you can make yours even more unique. Um, but I'm just gonna put some kind of like zigzag shape along here as I go. So it's not just gonna be a straight line. It's gonna have that kind of zigzag shape. That looks pretty cool to me. All right, trying for symmetry again. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing on the other side. Zigzag line. How many little points did I make? Three. Try to match that up. Pretty good, okay. I'm gonna do the same thing to the back legs. And again, because I'm gonna try to make the match, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my paper upside down to make it easier. 
and make those zigzags. And in. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get the other one right. And in. All right, let's turn that back over. That looks pretty good to me. Pretty happy with it so far. The next thing that we're going to draw are going to be the wings of the beetle. And the wings are actually going to start on the circle here. It's going to come around and it's going to end at this point. And I want to use as much of this space on the sides as I can um, to make my drawing fill my whole paper. So I'm going to start on the side of the circle and I'm going to make that curve and bring it down and try to make it match up to this point. Done. That looks pretty good. It's almost like half of a heart. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and hopefully they'll match. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to turn it this way to make it easier. I think this might be good. Eh, maybe not. All right. I'm going to go for it. Here we go. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to make it come out nice and wide. And in. All right. That's pretty good. Those look pretty close. They're pretty symmetrical. I think, oh, you know what? We forgot his little pinchers right up here on his head, also connected to the circle, are going to be his little pinchers right here. And if you read the information on canvas, then you know that this circle actually represents the sun. This actually represents the sun. So it's our beetle and he's holding up the sun. Um, that looks pretty good. Now that I'm done drawing the beetle and I have all the main parts, I'm ready to start adding some patterns and some details. Now, your patterns and details do not have to look like mine. Your patterns and details don't have to look like mine. But you do want to try to make sure that whatever you do on one side, you do the same thing on the other. You want it to be symmetrical. So I'm going to start making some patterns on mine. Again, yours don't have to match. Um, and I'm going to start with just a second wing shape right here. So I'm going to do this on the right, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the left so that I can make it symmetrical. And then inside of those, I think I'm going to add some nice stripes, and I'm going to put those stripes coming down or in. Now again, you don't have to make yours match mine. You can totally do different patterns than what I'm doing on mine. This is the opportunity for you to be creative and add some really cool stuff to yours. If you check back on Canvas, you're going to see all of the different examples that I've included for you and ideas that you can use, different patterns for you to try out. So don't be afraid to make this your own. All right, that looks pretty good on that side. And then I need to do the same thing on the other side. I want to make sure I keep it symmetrical. And I'm going to go ahead and keep going with my patterns. And I want you to go ahead and keep going with yours. And we'll meet back here when we're done with all of our designs. And we'll talk about how to color it in. I hope you enjoyed this part of the drawing. And I cannot wait to see what you came up with.